Have you ever told people they'll go to hell if they don't follow what you teach? <laughs> like the Bible does. And I don't even know if the Bible really does, to be frank. I feel that there's many statements in the Bible which would indicate that's not true anyway. But uh, yeah, most religions, and particularly Christian religions, do basically say that if you don't do what the Bible says, then you'll go to hell and that you'll be there forever. You'll be in eternal torment in a location uh, that you are in, in which you are in extreme pain. I do not agree with that at all. I don't feel that anybody will go to hell for any action. I believe oftentimes we are already in hell because of the actions we have taken. And when I say that, what I mean is the way God has constructed her universe is that whenever I take an action that's out of harmony with love and truth, my soul already degrades in its condition and I already experience a hell of a sorts. The, you know, and it begins oftentimes with a sore conscience, but, uh, uh, but for those who don't have a sore conscience, it often have, happens that many external events occur showing them that the choices that they were making at that particular time are resulting in their own pain and suffering. Mm -hmm. So I feel that the majority of people are already experiencing a hell of a sorts in the sense that they are experiencing the hell of their own unloving choices and the choices of others' unloving behaviour forced upon them in their current life. I don't think you need to threaten anybody with that. I feel you need to alleviate people. <coughs> Sorry, I just need to have a cough. I feel you need to alleviate people from the burden of that kind of thinking. The way you do that is by demonstrating to them that any behaviour they engage that is out of harmony with love and truth will result in breaking one of God's laws, which automatically has, let's call it a penalty. I would prefer to call it an operation. It's a bit like the operation of gravity. Um, if you break the law of gravity, you can't really break it, like in the sense of break the law itself. You can only attempt to not be governed by the law. So if I'm standing on a very tall building, you know, 20 stories high, and I attempt to not be governed by the law of gravity, I might step off the edge mm -hmm. of it. And the law is going to have its operation. Uh, whether I agree with its operation or not is really immaterial. The law has its operation. All of God's laws are like that. And God has laws that govern the soul, that morality, ethics, and a lot of other things that people are not aware of. And if I help people become aware of these particular laws that God has, then they'll be able to choose whether they still want to attempt to break or attempt to not be governed by that law or not. Now, my suggestion is that any attempt to not be governed by one of God's laws is an exercise in futility that will always result in pain and suffering. So I believe pain and suffering is the direct result of our personal attempts or the attempts of our environment to not be governed by God's laws that God has already set up. If I can help a person understand those laws, then I can help a person be, choose to be governed by the laws and, and that will result in more happiness. But I, do not, I cannot force that upon them. That has to be a personal choice that make, they make. The, you think about it, you can't, you can't force a person to take a certain action except by being with them 24 hours by seven days a week for their entire life. And I certainly do not want to do that. Uh, I, want, I want to live my own life. I don't want to spend all of my life trying to govern billions of people's lives by being with them 24 by 7 and telling them off every time they choose to do something personally against God's laws and, and rewarding them every time they choose to do something in harmony with God's laws. Such a proposition is ludicrous and, and I would never consider doing it and nor would any sane person, I believe. So my suggestion is that uh, people need to understand that whenever there is pain and suffering in their lives, it is the direct result of a lack of harmony with God's laws and therefore something that they can personally choose to change. Mm. I don't know if I answered the question, did I? <laughs> the question was if you've told people they're going to go to hell if they don't follow what you teach. And, and the, answer, the brief answer to that, of course, is no. Um, but many people do finish up going to hell, as the statement says, 
but as a direct result of the choices they've already made, mm -hmm. not, not of something they will make in the future necessarily. Obviously, if they continue to make negative choices in the future, then they will go to places in the spirit world that reflect their condition. But one thing I must say in this question too, though, is that hell is not a place that you can't get out of. Hell is a place, many people on earth are in hell uh, in a certain period of their life, in the sense they have all tormented emotions over a certain period of their life. And then as they progress and work their way through that emotionally, they get out of that state. And it's exactly the same after a person passes into the spirit world. They might be tormented initially by certain things that they've done in their life and they'll feel like they're in hell. But after a while, they can get out of that state and be in more heavenly, shall we call them, places, <laughs> more beautiful places where they're not in torment. Great.